Hey everyone, it's me, Sam Reddy. Welcome to my channel. This is the second part of the semi-final reviews, and this is semi-final two. Um, if you haven't seen semi-final one, go back on my channel and have a look. Um, well, I'll be putting the countries in the individual spots of where I think they will finish in semi-final two. Now, um, semi-final one has the better songs, really. Um, they have eight sure qualifiers. In here, there is only really six qualifiers guaranteed to get through in the semi-final. Um, with sort of last, from 7th to 10th, um, possibly 11th, 12th, 13th, and maybe 14th, there's eight countries there are fighting for four spaces. And that is why this semi-final is harder. Not necessarily because of song quality, but because you need to try and guess who will get through out of the more average songs. Um, and I think that this year's quality as a contest is very average. But let's get to it. So in 18th place, I put Montenegro. Um, I've not seen much fanfare for this. I've watched some of the performances now. Um, that's before I ranked this um, semi-final. I did this before while the first snippets were going out on um, Top Tick or some... Uh, Something like that. Um, and I wasn't a big fan of this song when it first got released. It hasn't grown on me whatsoever. I can't see it doing better. Um, and if you're wondering why I put this last ahead of 17th, because it's Georgia. Um, Circus Mercus. Um, I didn't like this song to begin with, but I must admit, I do listen to it quite a lot now. Um, but again, it's coming. The stage is not great from what I've seen I haven't looked at much of it but Georgia have got a good song this year and let's not remember back in 2016 in Stockholm um, they had their song and they got 12 points of the UK jury George Georgian poet whatever it was um, nobody saw that qualifying even in the hall when it quali actually qualified there was a big hush. It was like, what's happened here? Um, if if it got through this, it, I would not be, I won't be disappointed. I'll be happy. It's a fun song. You can't take this song seriously. Um, lock me in. Um, but it's just there, isn't it? It's a nice feel. Hopefully you can bring the circus a bit more on stage. 16th um, is Stripper for San Marino with Archie LaRue. Um Don't like this song whatsoever. Um, it's very cheesy. It's I don't, You can't take it seriously. You can't take it um, not seriously either. Um, and it's very disappointing because San Marino had all that probably too busy semi, um, process to select theirs and they picked that. Moving on, uh, North Macedonia. Um, um, it's very, there's a bit of hype behind this song. I don't think it will qualify. If it does, it will get through by the skin of its teeth. But again, I'm not a fan of the song. Again, it's just there in the contest to make the numbers up. And that's a shame for North Macedonia when one of my favourite artists is Calofi. I met her in 2016 in Stockholm. Um, again, another Stockholm reference. <laughs> and... Um, it's just that they've they've slowly started to go downhill. They have these spikes every now and then, North Macedonia, and this is not one of them. Now, fourteenth, I have put Azerbaijan. Now they are one of the few countries I think left with a hundred percent qualification record, but I didn't research that, so don't quote me. Um, again, Azerbaijan, I do like. Um, but fade to black is fading. There's, he's, he can sing, which, which is good, but outside of that, there's not much there, which is why I put a 14th. But for, remember, these next four, and then the first four in the top 10, they could easily switch around. So, depending who's there, obviously Russia's not in it this year, so you're not going to get the high points to Azerbaijan from Russia. Where will the points come from for this song? And that's what worries me. Um, when making this list. 13th is Cyprus. Um, very 
overrated this song um if it gets through i'll be very disappointed because andre mecha and ella is not a good song it's very subpar um yes it's very different to what they've sent in the last couple of years but you can change things up and have a good song and they just haven't done it and it's been such such a shame for cyprus because they had an okay song last year which might have got them in the final um not last year in 2020 you know yes yeah in 2020 um last year i can't even remember who their entry was but i think um this is coming back to greece a bit when everybody had the um with the lady who had the illuminati symbol on her hand everyone said that's going through hands down and i said it wouldn't and it didn't qualify because you've got to look where the votes are going to come from will people like it nobody it didn't do too well it didn't finish last nowhere near and i don't think cyprus will finish last in the semi-final i just don't know where the votes are going to come from um 12th is malta because i am what i am and my emma muscat um much needed change from the song that actually got her to eurovision but again it's a very average song but it does cheer you up so this could go to the wire whether Malta will be back in the final for eurovision i would like them personally i think it's between her and um probably ireland um they kind of have similar feels to me of upbeat and i'm just trying to make this seem sense now now i've said it and i can't so we'll move on um belgium are in 11th i think they'll just miss out um just like malta i think the 9th 10th 11th 12th will be very close these four belgium there's no hype there the song is very very average which is a shame um, when you've had all the decent people from Belgium over the years, um, Loic Nottet, one of my favourite singers to ever represent the country. And they've kind of gone back. Jeremy probably has a good voice, but this song just doesn't work for him, in my opinion. Um, I know everyone out there will probably disagree with that because it's very controversial to say. But, you know, we'll, we'll wait to the contest to see if he gets through. Um, Again, if he gets through, it wouldn't bother me either way. If he does get through, he will be very low down in this top 10. In 10th, um, you know I am, and it's Israel. Um, I think they'll scrape through. Um, if they don't, it'll be between them and Romania, because they're very they're two very similar feel songs of a very camp man singing. Um, the Romanian song is better, which obviously hasn't featured in my list yet. It's coming up, um, but Israel. I'm liking this song. It's 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 got the sort of Australian theme of at the start of being in a theatre of um, Ky uh, not Coyote. What's um, the the one that Cavazita Jones was in the film? I can't think what it's called. Um, it feels very theatre-ish at the start. Um, whether that was split the vote between them and Australia, obviously Australia's more full in theatre which I think is why it's the better song personally but Israel they, they should qualify if they if it doesn't qualify for someone like Belgium or Cyprus I'd be very disappointed because this song is better than them um but we'll have to wait and see ninth is my my um one that will probably cause a few eyebrows that's Ireland um Brooke and that's Rich I like this song. Um, I know vocally she's not strong enough as compared to everyone around her in this list. Um, there have been some problems on the promo tour, but they've seemed to be eroded away for the rehearsals. It depends how people feel on the night if they'll vote for this. Um, again, the UK can vote in the semi final, so they will get some points off the UK. Which, always happens um but i think it's justified because this is a good song sorry just my nose has just started running i have no idea why um but again it's it's just average um leslie roy's two efforts last year were better leslie roy did not deserve to finish last 
in her semi-final last year. That was that was so wrong on so many levels. Yes, she was she, vocally she could have been better, but if you look at what she was doing, it was a great performance. Um, and I think Ireland need to have that one singer to get them in the final, and I think this has been. I think Leslie Will was the best chance recently. Brooke, I think, could do well. But won't do well in the finals, but she'll get through this semi, I hope. Next is uh, uh, Lamine by um, WRS from Romania. Um, I think it's WRS. I've definitely got that wrong. I'm liking this song more and more each day. I didn't really listen to it as much, but I've listened to every song for this list. And it's... Um, it's now been popped on my uh, YouTube list. I like this. It's very flamboyant, a bit like Israel's entry. I think this is the better standard song because you can um, sing to, well, you can sing to both of them, but with this, it's got that dance break after the chorus lines, and I do like that. And I think that will come across a lot better, and it'd be great to see Romania back in the final, um, and hopefully they will do well there. And seventh is Czechia, um, with Lights Off by whoever it is. Can you stop whinging, you naughty beast? Um, this is my sort of music, it's dance, um, up-tempo. Um, this doesn't have much hype compared to Halo from Austria, but the they can sing better for this song. And I feel that's where they will get the points from this, the audience, from the dance audience. Like, Toby, you're in my... Get off my list. Well, you're going to have to move. Um, and I feel that Czechia will do a good enough job to get through to the final. Um, they are the last on this list that I feel would might struggle to get through. Because it is hard to predict this. Um, but they will be... They will be in this bottom four of getting through, I feel. I'm pretty certain of that. Now, the top six here, I think I guaranteed songs to get through. And at six is the only song that's not in English. And that is Serbia, um, in Corpusano. This is a song that probably should be left to one side. Um, doesn't really make sense on its own. But with the performance um, and the whole package put together, it really works. And Serbia will do very well. I think they will be guaranteed top half on the right-hand side and better. Um, being the only song not in English, um, I don't think will hurt it at all. Um, nice touch for the Latin as well. <laughs> but this song just works on every level when it's together. When I listen to it, first i didn't really enjoy it again it's grown on me ever so much and it will it will do well and it will definitely qualify in fifth place i have put sheldon from australia um this is a good song this is a brilliant part of theater and that's what worries me because it's more of a theater song will people gravitate towards it i really hope they do because Australia, again, I think are one of the only countries with a hundred... No, they don't, because I don't think one song qualified for the final. That this is quality. And we all know that when Australia send quality, that like Darmy in 2016, another Stockholm reference, um, <laughs> they they do well. Um, I think this could, would surprise people. I think this could get top 10. Um it's definitely left-hand side of the scoreboard in the final. It's a guaranteed qualifier. Um, the only bit I hope it changes is the crying bit when he takes his mask off. If he gets rid of that, yes, it's a very emotional song for him personally. If he can get over that, I think this... I wouldn't be surprised if it pushes for the win. Let's just say that. In fourth, um, one of my favourite bands growing up, the Rasmus Jezebel for Finland. Um, they've been doing some very quirky stuff in in Turan, um, Turin, um, Toronto. Um, they've been busking. Uh, it's, it's been quite funny to watch that on the UMK webs um, YouTube channel. Yeah. Look, this this is going to go through. Um, 
Vocally, probably the worst performance in the contest this year. He's not been strong enough. In UMK, in the final, um, it was the worst, worst vocal performance of the night. But the popularity got them through, and I don't like that. Um, my favourite song there, I cannot remember. Um, it was the one about the telephone. It was the one that was in Finnish. Um, Nuno, Numero. Son Numero. There we go. I'll get there eventually. That was the best song. And that would have worked so well on the Eurovision stage. And it's a shame that that was not sent. But you sent the Lazarus. So um, we know they're going to go straight through to the final. In third, now, it's Sweden. Um, Cornelia Jacobs. Um, this is probably the worst Swedish song since I've really taken the contest seriously, which is at least two decades. I don't like this song. Hold Me Closer is extremely average and is extremely poor for Sweden to pick. Um, it will qualify, um, but I don't think she will place very highly at all in the rankings in the final. I think if she gets anywhere near that left-hand side of the board, um, I'll be surprised. I think she's high right, personally, if not mid right. That's how much I do not rate this song. There were better songs. She did not win the public vote in Mel Melody Festival. Let's remember that. She only just won the jury vote. Um, you know, when we've sent, they sent John Lundvig before, um, who wiped across the board in Melfest. He didn't do too well on Eurovision. And John Lundvig is a very talented man. Um, the way her voice breaks at the end, I'm very worried for her voice um, to be sustained for Eurovision week because you have world-class singers like Sergei, Sergei Lazarov, whose voice always goes in the final. Um, in, like in 2016, I've noticed his voice gradually getting worse throughout the week. I can see hers doing exactly the same and they've had technical problems as well, I've, I've read as well. So. Um, I placed her third and hopefully she doesn't win the semi-final because, quite frankly, I don't think, she, you know, because it's a poor year, she'll qualify. But she doesn't deserve to be anywhere near the top, you know. I placed her third. But anyway, we need some hope here and that's what Estonia is doing at two. Um, Stefan, um, it was not my favourite song in SD now, um, but I have really grown to like this song. Um, I don't know whether that's due to the when it was released. It was a very poor showing for Eurovision as a whole at the time. And it was just one of the better songs from the bunch that was there. But it has kind of stuck with me. I wouldn't be surprised if this wins semi-final two. But I think there is one song that probably do a bit better. Um, but it is different. It's more of the country feel without going full country which is great because not many country songs do well I think Common Linnets buck the trend with it really um, Estonia will do well and it's great to see because Estonia's selection SD Lel hasn't really changed much over the years and I think that's a credit to them that they've stuck with that selection process because it is good um, best of luck to Estonia but my number one is Poland Ockman with River um, this has actually drifted away from me really, I used to like this song but his voice is incredible, we all know that, he's got a very good falsetto but not as good as Sam Ryder's and I don't, I don't think he will do much in the final, obviously the Polish dysphoria will get votes because they generally do but they don't always vote for their song heavily if they send a rubbish entry which we have seen over the last couple of years um, but when they do full go in for it, they get behind it, like in 2016. Uh, never stopping reference. When, but that wasn't really a good song in thingy. Um, Michael Spizak's song. Um, really hated that song. Very surprised it got the votes it did. But um, I think Poland will do well this year. It's a different story. Um, the song does get very boring, goes very average. And we hope that, I hope that it gets to the final. We should do. If not, something very badly has gone wrong. But um, that's my thoughts. Um, how are you going to disagree with me in the comments? I'll, I'll, I will read. <laughs> um, but let's remember, these are my opinions. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that my opinions 
um, on what your opinions are. But let's at least do one thing and respect my opinions as I will respect yours, because that makes us a decent person. But thank you for watching. Um, I'll be doing these all, uh, all the way through the week, um, reacting live on the Tuesday and Thursday, and then putting the video up because I haven't got enough followers to do live videos because YouTube changed their policy. But I'm very close. So if you want to hit the uh, good old subscribe button, you're more than happy. Like the video as well to get it in the algorithms. And uh, that's basically it. I'll be doing all more videos throughout this week, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.